friends, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how to add conditional formatting to a column in Microsoft Lists. Just hold on there. This isn't any conditional formatting. This is conditional formatting based on a formula, i.e. an if statement. It is very customized and I am so excited to show you. So with that being said, let's nerd out. All right, at Amy's Animal Barn and Petco, we have created this list to track pet stays at our dog Borny Resort. And in this video, we are going to learn how to insert a JSON to format the status column based on today's date in reference to the check-in date. This JSON can also be applied to the check-in date, but I like to have this second column here. So let's break it down step by step so that you can create this and implement it on your own. The first thing that I did was create this column that is going to be a helper column. It is just going to create a really clean formula within the JSON and hopefully eliminate any errors going forward. Once we are finished, then we can simply hide this column so that it's not visible in the front end, but it is still working in the back end. If you are not familiar with calculated columns within Microsoft Lists, then I would highly recommend checking out my other video linked here. Just so that you can see exactly what's happening here, this is the formula that I have inserted into my Today CI column. So basically we are just taking the check-in date column and then subtracting today's date. And then this is going to return a number based on how many days we are from the check-in date. For the status column, this is also defined as a calculated column and the data type or the output value is defined as a single line of text. So this just allows us to have that booked coming soon or checked in text that is based on a calculation between these two columns. This is the formula that I have put into my status column. And basically it's saying that if today's CI value is less than zero or negative, then that pet has checked into the resort. If it's greater than seven, then they are booked and arriving at a later date. And if it's neither of those, then it means that that pet is going to be arriving within seven days, which means that they are coming soon. Now, I did just want to share a little tip when you are creating these calculated columns within Microsoft Lists. And you may notice that when you don't quite get the formula right, then you're gonna get this error and you're going to have to go back and it's just not really a user-friendly process. All right, so rather than troubleshooting your formula in the column creation, I recommend exporting your list to a CSV file and then within Excel you can troubleshoot your formula there as it's much easier and you're not going to go back and forth between that warning. Once you've got it dialed you can just you know double check that it works on all of your columns and then when you go to create your column within Microsoft List you're just going to have to update this cell reference which is going to be the helper cell. All right, now we are on to the fun stuff. So this is the JSON that we are going to be inserting into our list to set up the color formatting. Don't worry, I'm going to pop this in the comments below so it's going to be easily accessible for you. And what we are going to cover in the next couple of steps is the creation of an if statement to go right here between these two brackets. I did want to add a quick note to say that I am working on SharePoint version number two. So this is going to be the JSON that works for that version. If this JSON does not work for you, then you might be on a different version. If you aren't sure which version you are in SharePoint, then you can just select any column and head on down to column settings and then format this column. Just ensure that you are on this format columns tab at the top, then head on down to the advanced mode. Here we will find the standard JSON formatting and you can see in mine that it says V2. So if yours also says V2, then you are on the same version as me. Otherwise, if you're a V1 or something else and you're going to be on a different version of SharePoint and this JSON formula is probably not going to work. This is the JSON if statement that I have generated. Yours will of course be tailored to your needs, but we are going to go over the components together. Now, if you think that this looks a little bit familiar, you will see here that this is a nested if. 
it is a very similar format to that status column if statement that we went over at the beginning of the video. Starting with the field names that I have bolded here, these are the reference columns that we will use for the formatting. There are a few key things that I wanted to highlight on the field name. The field name is also known as the internal name. It is different to the display name and it is defined on column creation. So when you create a column and define a name, that is when this field name is created. So I'm going to show you a little bit more about this in just a second. But when we insert the field names into the JSON formula, we just want to be sure that we include the brackets on the beginning and the end, as well as that dollar sign at the beginning of the field name, just how I have it here. To find the field name, we head on up to this gear icon, go to list settings, and then we scroll on down and find the column that we want to use. In this example, we are going to be inserting the today CI or today check-in. So if we click on that, then we will see up here in the URL at the very end, it says field equals today CI. So today CI is my field name. In this case, it also matches my display name, but that is not always the case. So it is best to just check this here first. Now I did want to share another tip with you. So today is your lucky day. And this one has to do with defining your field names within Microsoft lists. And it is known as camel casing. So let's take a look at what that means. Let's take the check-in date column, for example. So the display name is check-in date. And when we go up to the field name, we'll notice that it is check underscore X zero zero two D underscore in. And the reason for this section in the middle here is because of the hyphen. So when I created this column, I did go check dash in, but when you create columns going forward, the best thing to do would be to do camel casing. So capital C, or if you want it to be lower at the beginning, that's fine, but then you can do capital I in the middle. So that way you're not having any you know, changes in your field names to accommodate for spaces or hyphens. And then once you've created the column, then you can just change it back to what you would like the display name to be so that it is easier to navigate your list. All right, and now on to colors within the JSON. So I have highlighted some color hex codes here. And when we add these hex codes to the JSON, we just need to be sure that we add the apostrophes at the beginning and end, as well as that hash or pound sign at the beginning of the hex code. An easy way to identify the hex code for the colors is to define your colors within any Microsoft product really, then hit this caret drop down for colors and then go down to more colors, and under the custom tab, we have this hex code at the bottom. Our if statement is now complete and I have highlighted it at the top here. Now is all that we need to do is just pop it into this JSON between these two brackets. All right, so we are just going to head to this status column, column settings, format this column, ensure that you are on that format columns tab at the top and then select advanced mode at the bottom. I'm going to completely delete this base formula. Then I'm going to just control V the new formula. And then here is that if statement that we are just going to copy our contents into. So I'm just going to select right in between those two brackets, control V. And then now we can delete that space that was added for some reason, and then just select the preview button. And there you go. Now that JSON formula has formatted the status column based on the check-in date with the help of the helper cell. So I'm just going to click save. You did it. Nice work. Woohoo. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I have helped you discover your inner nerd today. And I also hope that I have helped you apply some formatting based on an if statement within Microsoft list. Thanks for nerding out. We'll see you again.